What's going on Flex Online? Matt Porter here, about four and a half weeks out from the 2014 USA Championships here in Gold's Gym Venice. Training a little back with Fabian and uh, my good friend Mike Weitzman, helping me out through the back workout that you just saw. Um, basically, at four and a half weeks out, I'm not training very heavy as you can see. Using a lot of band works just for diff constant tension and going slow and controlled with my movements and uh, having really good form is very key right now. I faced a lot of injuries uh, prior to this, uh, partially torn pec tear with both pecs, knee problems, etc. So, you know, I just want longevity in the game, so I'm training as smart as I can right now. So right now, we're doing some, uh, some band work for the back and I've been incorporating a lot of bands lately for constant tension on the muscle tissue. Very controlled movement so if you notice my posture is perfectly erect, upright and I try to control the concentric and the eccentric. I've been doing it this whole prep just to stay a lot healthier and safer for my joints because I've had a lot of injuries. The band works phenomenal. Just a little, uh, little update. So being uh, four and a half weeks out if anyone followed my uh, YouTube videos, my contest prep where I tell you about my nutrition. So right now, I'm all the way down to 300 grams of carbs. And that's give or take. I'm kind of dictating what I'm doing on a day-by-day -day basis. Since I coach myself, being my own coach, I can look at my body day to day and allot myself you know, X amount of desired carbs depending on how much energy I have, how much activity I'm doing for that day. So my carbs right now are anywhere from about 250 to 350. Today they're gonna to be about 300. So four weeks out, that's rather low for me because like if you watch my videos, you know that I started at over 800 grams. So 300 feels like zero almost. So it's all relative to the person. Um, feeling pretty good about this prep. Started it nice and long, slow, 20 weeks out. I've been documenting my progress a little bit on my YouTube channel. Um, just kind of going through my meal plan, et cetera, every four weeks or so. Uh, anyone that's watched that has seen that, you know, I actually diet with a very high carbohydrate uh, diet. Started out with about 810 grams of carbs and a very low fat content. Was able to get pretty lean off that for the first four to six weeks. Has progress stalled, just lowered by carbs. Now at this point, I think four and a half weeks out, I'm actually around 250 to 350 grams of carbs per day, which is very low for me uh, just because I started out for such a high carb threshold. And uh, I'm kind of going day by day, depending on my conditioning, my energy levels, what I got going on for the day as far as energy, like activity output, et cetera. So I might do 250 grams on an arm day, I might do 350 on a leg day, plus I'm punching uh, refeeds in or high carbohydrate days uh, intermittently as well. And on those, of course, I'll blast up to about 800 to 1,000 grams of carbs to replenish glycogen, et cetera. Um, so yeah, everything's going to go with this prep. It's been a little difficult. Uh, some of you know I train quite a few other competitors and clients globally and uh, basically dictating their prep okay. as long, you know, as well as mine. It's a little stressful, but uh, it's going pretty well. And I'm really excited to compete my first national show. Been competing for over 10 years and I've qualified nationally for the last, I don't know, nine, nine or eight years, but never felt personally ready to step on the national stage. And some people just jump right into it. You know, I basically have uh, t t taken my time, and so now I feel that I'm at the point to, you know, to go to nationals and make somewhat of an impact and do my best. Uh, obviously, we we all train to win, so if I said I wasn't trying to win, I'd be lying, but top five would be phenomenal, and uh, just to get a fair look, so I'm very excited for that, and uh, thanks Flux Online for filming this. This movement right here, obviously it's a little awkward because you have to jump in and out of it with the bands. But you're grabbing from the very top. It's gonna give your lat the most maximal stretch possible. And you're gonna let it carry all the way up. And when you come down to the concentric, you're gonna try to bring it down to your lower pec and squeeze. So this motion is all about squeezing the entire time, controlling the movement. And uh, I encourage anyone to try this if they have a hammer strength with bands. You'll notice the stretch and the squeeze is uh, one of the best. So, been doing this for about six weeks now. I love it. Could be heavy.
So that single arm movement right there, you'll notice full stretch, even turning my torso slightly inward and on the concentric, converting my torso a little bit to squeeze it. So from top to bottom, it's a full squeeze and contraction. Once again, going along with the slow controlled movements. lateral hammer strength row as you can see there's four different grips we're gonna do a giant set so a giant set on this one movement back to back so we're gonna go side grip overhand grip inside grip and bottom grip consecutively all in a row so four different angles in one set it's very taxing can't go that heavy but you'll you'll see what I mean so 